Hello, I'm Andrzej from the Castle Game Engine team and today I'll show you how to use Castle Game Engine with Visual Studio Code as your code editor using our new extension that highly improves workflow and adds many new possibilities. To ensure we don't skip any step, I've created a new account in Windows. So let's start with installing the engine. First we go to Castle Engine AO and here to download the app here's Windows installer we need to wait a, a minute okay the file is downloaded uh, the engine itself install like any other Windows application However, it's worth copying the installation path, uh, which will be useful later in our plugin configuration. I will copy it to Notepad. So, we start the installation. Okay, the engine is is installed now. Uh, next step we need to install Visual Studio Code. So we need to download it. Okay, one moment. Okay, it's and now Next installation. Okay, now let's uh, open the editor and create our first project. We can close these windows. We choose new project, maybe to the game. Okay, now we have our project created. If we don't have any other Pascal source code editor installed, VS Code should be auto detected and ready to work. But we can check it in preferences. We go to Code Editor and it is ready to work. But if you have Lazarus or Delphi installed, uh, you can choose Visual Studio Code directly here by clicking there and OK. Now we can open some uh, source code file. We go to code folder and maybe game view play pass here. OK. VS Code without a plugin do not have syntax highlighting and other tools we know from Delphi or Lazarus so we now will install our plugin but we also need to trust the source code like that because uh, our plugin works only for uh, trusted workspaces So let's go to the extensions and search Castle. And here's Castle Game Engine plugin. We will install it. And uh, as we can see here, Castle Engine path was not set correct. So we can open extension settings. 
and now we can use the path we start here after that the plugin will start working as you can see we have here some buttons we can select build mode compile run a project or open editor a plugin also installs other extension like Pascal Magic for uh, code highlighting and FP debug for debugging. Okay, well, let's write some code and use some uh, plugin functions. Uh, maybe let's add the ability to move the dragon upwards uh, using the keyboard. So we use Ctrl Shift O to go to update function and here we start writing container press it k arrow up then Dragon Sin Dragon Translation will be Sin Dragon Translation plus Vector Three zero maybe th thousand zero multiply second past okay now we can run our project shift f9 the project was recompiled and now let's try and we can move our dragon up using the up are okay okay by using the control f1 shortcut we can search for any word in the engines api reference for example let's search translation word and here search results for example translation okay we can also debug our game. Let's add a breakpoint here. The plugin automates debugging uh, configuration. We don't need add JSON uh, launch JSON file. Simply when we click debug, we need chose CGA debug. When I press up or OK, the program will stop at breakpoint. Like here, we can continue. Another thing is engine developer mode. Let's go to the configuration to run it. Now when we press Ctrl T, we can jump to any method of the engine. For example, we can filter all the castle transform methods and jump to add parent, for example. I think these are all the most important functions. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more Castle Game Engine movies. Bye.